What is happening everyone in quarantine? Today I'm going to show you my 66 Impala Super Sport Convertible. I'm going to show you the things that I love most about it, talk through the plan, but first let's get it out of the garage and into the sunshine. It's convertible, makes sense, right? Here we go, my 1966 Impala Super Sport convertible. Man, this car is a ton of fun. I've actually not driven it on the road yet. I picked it up in pretty similar shape to this, what you're looking at. Um, needs obviously quite a bit of bodywork, which is my plan for the car. Finish the bodywork, probably get it painted, and then uh, make a decision on what to do with it. I've always loved the convertible versions of these 65, 66 Impalas, and, and this one's just in fantastic shape and re really well optioned too which is one of the reasons why I picked this car up. It's super complete. I obviously drove it out of the shop here. Uh, so it runs really well. The engine runs strong, 396 engine, but really what made me love this car is the fact that I love 65s my, for my entire life and 66 looks awfully similar although different. And if you have a question on what the differences are, I've got a couple of videos. Uh, I'll link one here in the top and in the description to talk through the differences between a 65 and a 66. One thing I will point out that I haven't mentioned in any of these other videos is these hubcaps. These hubcaps that you see are from a 65 and 66, and they're actually different. The back hubcap on this car that you're looking at right here is actually a 1966 of SS hubcap. And you can tell this little ridge right here, uh, see how it's gotten two steps? It's like a multi-step little ridge. Uh, and it's about, uh, say, half inch, three quarters of an inch from the middle out to the, to the spinner. That's a 65. And now if I go to the front of this car, Sorry, that one was a 66. And if I go to the front of this car, this is a 65. You can see how it's shaped differently. For all intents and purposes, these hubcaps look the exact same. And I bet there's not many people who know that a 65 hubcap is actually different than a 66 hubcap. But anyway, I digress. Super cool car. It's got a white interior, black carpet, white top. Just really nice. The interior, the dash was in really good shape when I bought it. It's got a tilt steering wheel, which is awesome. It's got the gauge package that most of the Super Sports had. It's got an AM FM radio up there that you see. Um, it's also, besides an AM FM radio, it's got what's called a multiplex option, which has these controls in the center console, fader and tone controls and things like that. And I think it also had a rear seat speaker, but again, that's a pretty rare option for this year having those controls in the middle but that's that's stock and that's how it was optioned this car also has air conditioning which is pretty crazy the car has power seats power windows power brakes power steering i, I mean almost no 66 that i run across has all of those power seats are so rare on these super sports in in 66 power windows is uncommon as well but when you put those all together man really well optioned car the car originally actually had a black top. It's got a white top now. It had a white top when I bought it. The original color on the car is what's called Chateau Slate. And you see it here in the door jams and on the insides of the doors, kind of a silver color. I actually really like it. And that's my plan to paint this car back to the original color uh, of that Chateau Slate metallic is what it's called. Pretty rare color for a 66. In fact, I think it's run up one of the rarer colors or the most rare uh, colors for 66. Certainly better than this lime or aqua green or whatever you call that uh, that the rest of the car has but overall really cool. Um, it's going to be a somewhat easy project. I think from a body perspective, you see some of the stuff flash rusted, but the rest of the body's in good shape. I don't think there's really going to be any metal repair that I have to perform on the car. Everything is loose fit right now. So none of the obviously the doors don't shut doesn't have any of the uh, door regulators in it or door hardware and the fenders aren't lined up everything is just kind of sitting on there but it, it, it's nice and tight it lines up really nice and again all the the panels are in really good shape from an engine perspective I'll, I'll show you next here the engine's a 396 now this is the second year that Chevy had 396s in Impala's 65 being the first year and this was 
not anything high performance for Chevy of this year because again this was the first year of the 427 so anybody who got a 396 was kind of going middle of the road you could you could get an inline six still you can get a 283 you can get a 327 so a 396 was the smallest big block that you could still get uh, between this and the 427 but this one's a 325 horse version you can see here it's got the AC housing and the AC compressor. All the AC components in this car are intact and actually work, which is pretty cool. Pretty rare for this. All in all, really good car. Going to get it reassembled. Going to get it painted. I'm going to probably try to do the painting myself and try to get this thing back on the road and then make a decision. I certainly love a convertible 66. The only thing better in my mind, convertible 65. My plan right now is to um, get it dialed in and get everything smoothed off and get the body ready to rock and roll so that I can spray some paint on it. Um, I'm going to probably try to do the paint myself. I've got all the painting tools. Uh, like I said, it's in pretty good shape, so it, sh so it shouldn't be that hard. Guys, I've got all the parts back behind me for the 66, so as soon as paint and body is done, it's going to be time to reassemble. I've got literally everything, like chromed bolts, uh, the chrome bumpers, I've got the grill, I've got literally every part, all the interior up here, everything that I could need for reassembly ready to go back on this car. So if you guys want to stay tuned and see how this car turns out, please subscribe, stay along with us and follow the progress. We'll see you guys in the next video.